It's an urgent call for plasma donations. Supplies are low, and that's why our next guest is putting the call out there to help replenish the supply. Johnny Sandberg is the center manager with Griffles, a global health care company. Good morning, and how's it going? Good, thank you. Thanks for having me, everybody. Of course. So, Johnny, let's go ahead and start with the basics. What exactly is plasma? So plasma is uh, a part of the blood that we take and we separate. So plasma specifically, the water portion of the blood, um, we take it out through a process um, and then we return the red blood cells back to the donor and then we take that plasma that's full of proteins and then we use that plasma to make uh, medications. And it's painless, so how does it work? So the painless process uh, is pretty smooth. What happens is we have a, a donor come into the center. Um, it's a single uh, process where we have the, the needle stuck into the arm. The process will draw the blood out and then we will return the, the blood after the process has separated the plasma from the blood. Um, and then once the process is completed, then we bandage up uh, the person and they're able to leave. And like so many other things, COVID-19 has impacted donations. How so? So everyone has been affected by COVID-19 um, and plasma donation centers are no different. Um, however, what we've done um, is we have been able to implement some extended uh, cleaning specific procedures to be able to uh, make it safe for both our donors and our patients. So specifically with the pandemic, we've had a, um, a lot of uh, procedures that have been um, changed such as um, our, our changes in the social distancing um, and then temperature taking at the doors and then also uh, extended questions. And so what we've done with all of that is we've ensured that the safety is our top priority and then we've ensured that we've, we've taken those priorities to our donors and our patients. And speaking of COVID, there's growing concerns about the Delta variant of COVID. So what safety protocols do you have in place to keep everyone safe? So the safety protocols have been in place uh, since before COVID and we've just uh, increased those safety measures. So similarly uh, to what we've spoken to before, we have taken extra precautions by uh, ensuring that there is social distancing um, throughout the center and throughout the process before you even enter the center and then all the way through until you leave the center. Um, we've also ensured that there are um, additional cleanings that are being performed, um, that any surfaces are being sanitized, we're also making sure that uh, everything that we are doing in the center is aseptic um, and, and to ensure that this carries through to our, our plasma donations and the products that go to patients, we're ensuring that none of, none of this is cross, crossing over. And if someone wants to donate, they're compensated, right? So donors are compensated for the time that they spend with us. Um, the reason for that is the process takes longer than blood donation. Um, and so part of what happens is uh, the process takes about an hour and during that hour uh, what ends up happening is uh, you know the donor is screened, they're asked questions, we take their temperature and then we make sure that they are comfortable. Um, they go through the process very smoothly but because of the length of time we do make sure that we compensate our donors uh, in a way to say thank you for their time and also for their donation. All right, so where can we go to get started? A any donor or anybody who's interested in becoming a donor can go to grifflesplasma.com um, and they can find all of our uh, locations. We specifically have three locations in the Las Vegas area. We have one on 3250 North Las Vegas Boulevard. We have one on Civic Center in Lake Mead. And then we also have one uh, down on uh, Bonanza and La Las Vegas Boulevard. All right, Johnny, we'll talk to you again soon. Any donation is very helpful at this time. So for more information, just head to grifflesplasma.com to find the location nearest you. There's three in the valley.